M0 FXB. So I got my uh, ATS 25 Plus all the way from China. It took it, it came really quick, maybe 10 days. Really pleased with that. And it was £90 delivered. And luckily for me, no tax to pay. So let's have a look at it. It's a HF receiver, but it does have broadcast receipt. It doesn't have two meters and 70 centimeters. So let's uh, get it out of the packaging here. I mean, I'm showing you exactly as it came. So you got, you have got an antenna, but I would say use this more for broadcast radio, BNC connector there. And it is micro USB charging. So we've got that lead included as well, which is quite nice. And if you look at the back connectors, I haven't even took them off yet. You've got power on off, USB, BNC, and then FM and shortwave. So we're on shortwave there. So we're going to be testing this with my ICOM 705. So let's just undo this packaging. So I will say that it's come, it has come well packaged. It's got this at the front here for the, to protect the display. It is a touchscreen device. So this is how I just took the tape off. and even has a piece of foam covering the actual screen. So I'm very pleased with that as well. It always makes a difference. So let's uh, just zoom in. Now this, like I said, it's £90. Why did I buy it? I mean, I've already got an Icon 705. Well, I, I sold a different HF radio and I thought this will be nice on the same desk. It's a colour screen, it's touch screen, it's just the right size for my shack. So I, I, most of my actual radios are very small. So I'm fingers crossed here that it's, there's some charge in here and we will be testing it on an antenna. Um, look, you've got headphone socket there as well, that's very handy. LED charge. Hmm. So basically LED comes on when it's charging, I'm guess. So look at it here, it's the ATS 25 times one so it's the newer model, hopefully it's got the newest firmware, but there are always firmware updates happening and they're always adding more features to this. I think for as for the price, it's a bargain. AM, LW, MW, SW, SSB, a USB, DSP receiver, and broadcast radio. And it's chargeable, so you can take it anywhere. The VFO knob does feel very good quality. Very good. And they so uh, right, let's just flick it on. Let's see if it even comes on. I'm gonna turn it on from behind so you can actually see it come on. So it's got the hardware, I mean the software version showing up. Straight away we're in there on broadcast radio. Like so. I'll just get to something busy now. There is a seat, but I don't know how to use it yet because I've never used this device. So I'm just gonna go to try and find, oh there's no antenna, so let's get the BNC on there, that's fine. Right, BNC antenna's on there, it's quite long. <laughs> so I'll pull it up. Um, there you go. Try and get away from the glare. A little bit. And let's just find 101 FM, that's popped on. Okay, well, we can't keep it on um, music for long, we get told off by YouTube. So 94, 300 is Radio 1. I mean, do you, even as a, 94 300 there you go radio one and it's touch screen look so you got handbands we can select 40 meters if we want just need an antenna i mean i don't think you'll get much on on the uh bnc no it's quite smooth tuning i would say so bandwidth there you go. How do you, frequency. We can type in the frequency. And that is. Okay. Like so. Ham. BFO. I've got a nice signal meter there. Oh, so it's a fine tune, isn't it? So, I haven't worked out the back button yet. We can mute. We've got volume here. Turn that down a bit. AGC, I think it's I think it's really good. Now obviously the test is how well does it receive? So go back to band, go to 40 meters. So you can choose all bands or hand bands, that's quite handy. Um, right, so we're gonna do way more testing on this. I mean, where's the back button? Is it that? I know that when you push this and things happen, the actual 
VFO which feels really good quality actually so how do we go back do we just tap the screen so I'm going to learn all this as I use it BFO step neck mode oh that'll be LSB USB I, I know how to do that and then next oh the back so next and back for different functions back memo setup FM 64 okay preset uh, what have we got here up and down is that scan Oh yeah, it sort of seeks, look, up and down search, scan is here. Oh, it scans the whole band, that's very neat, isn't it? Look at that. Not sure how well tuned that is. But pretty good, and eh? you can sort of tune to it. Um, if you do a bigger step, you're going to tune to it faster, aren't you? Don't really know how to do that, but... <laughs> Uh, okay, well, remember this is only an unboxing video, I'm just playing. So back, there's a back button on that section. Memo, retro, yeah, I've seen this, was like an old fashioned style radio. So we go 94, I mean, it's, it's, it's quirky, but, you know, 94, 300. They are back on BBC News. I do like that, to be honest. Volume. I mean, we can push it for the volume, can't we? If I remember right. Oh, look, stereo. We push it, it's going stereo. And it has got RDS, this. That's another pretty good thing about it. So let's go back. Chip. Oh, I'll tell you the information. Can we go back with this or we just tap the screen? Oh, yeah, tap the screen is back. Light, so the brightness. Quite like that. Go back, uh, frequency, volume, ATT, mute. You've got all notifications along here at the top. BFO, ATT, FM, FM Auto, FM and 1000. So it's telling you what you're up to. We're in stereo, obviously on broadcast things. Let's turn it down like so. So I like it. Let's get, I'm going to compare this to my 705 because really I'll be using it a lot on, uh, actually I actually will use the broadcast radio on this. Um, so how big is it? Well, there's my hand. You know, let's just... There's my hand here. Let's, my, let's get my mobile phone. Where's that gone? No, but let's get an FT5 here. Look, FT5D. I'll give you an idea of how big this actually is. So it's small. Yeah? So, 73, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. All the best. M0 FXB, just a quick one here. Look, we've got my new ATS25 HF receiver with broadcast radio and my FT5, uh, which is VHF, UHF, and APRS. And really, with these two, you're pretty much covering all the bands, and you can even listen to your favorite radio station. I thought I'd um, just put them together so you've got an idea of the actual size of the two. Look, it's a very small HF receiver, and the firmware does get updated. So I've just tested it, it sounds great. And you push the button here, it's got a very good VFO, and it's HF, uh, touch screen, Turn the volume up. We go to hand bands here. Look, watch this. 40 meters. Um, let's go, let's go back one. Tap the screen for back, I think. We'll go ham, and this time we'll do 40. And the screen is quite responsive. Ham band, there's no antenna, but it does come with a BNC. It's chargeable, USB chargeable, so it has a built-in battery. Uh, I'm really pleased with it, actually. Surprisingly pleased. Um, so yeah, check it out. I'll put the link in, see what you think. 90 pound delivered. Um, HF broadcast radio. So 7-3, all the best. Catch you on air, all the best.